Hey friends, welcome back to Go On Overland. In this one, you know, we've talked about all these different power stations, even the generator on separate videos, and I just kind of want to run through them. Don't forget, I have independent videos on them and what they can do, why we bought them, the different brand deals. So thankful for the companies working with us on that, but I just want to do kind of a run through. It's kind of a basic video on what they'll do and maybe what level of power you might need. So guys, hang with us. I think it's gonna be a fun one. Now friends, I'm not here to maybe do a gas versus electric thing. We're not gonna make that the point of the video, but we'll definitely get into that a bit as well. We're gonna talk about prices. I got links to all this stuff. Of course, it helps the channel a little bit. If you do end up making a purchase, some of these we have some special deals on and stuff. But at any rate, guys, I wanna get into it. Don't forget, we're gonna run some of these tools. I wanna know in the comments which one of these do you think will power that saw or this grinder or that coffee maker? Now guys, as you start thinking about power and you use these things, especially these three, not so much this, it gives you readouts and you start understanding power and now you're gonna have a better idea of how much power that television is using or how much power the little Keurig is using. It looks small, but guys, don't let it deceive you. It actually uses a lot of power. So at any rate, guys, I have my little cheat sheet I'm gonna go through starting smallest to biggest. Now there's a bunch of brands out there, a bunch of names, but one of my favorite right here is Vatid. So guys, this thing is a 600 watt output and it has 518 watt hours. So again, if you're just getting introduced to this stuff, that's just makes no sense at all. But essentially, this thing can handle anything that is 600 watts of power or less. So that's at 120 volts so your regular wall outlet that's what we're talking today guys so essentially all these these three right here are batteries and they're converting the power from 12 volt to 120 volt dc and so we're going to be talking about that but these things have a lot more built into them than just the ability with the inverter so that's a, essentially what size the inverter is it's a 600 watt inverter and it has 518 watt hours. So that's basically how big the gas tank is, if you will. So maybe not this gas tank, but think of it that way if that simplifies it a bit. It has about 518 watt hours of usable energy. So moving on, and we're gonna talk about some of the details, but I wanna get through them real quickly. The next one is Opus. Now, as you can see, the Opus that I got came with this solar panel. And so that's the only solar panel that I currently have. This is a 100 watt solar panel, but the details on this guy, again, this is a 600 watt output. So these both have a 600 watt inverter. Now guys, you can run out to the store, get a battery, take the battery out of your vehicle and just have gator clips and clip an inverter onto it. I have several. Sometimes you have an inverter that goes into your cigarette lighter plug on your car, the little gator clips, you can hardwire them. Like for example, I have a 300 watt inverter. I can run that thing, plug my computer into it, a couple different things, and it'll convert the battery over to usable electricity that you're used to with your plug-in. So at any rate, these two, even though this one's bigger in size, is the same inverter in there, but it has the 595 watt hours. So 595 and 518. So again, think of that as the the gas can, how much electricity it can hold. And that just means it's a bigger battery. These two were sent out to me for review, but we bought this one. We have a traveling business and we really needed big, big power and we wanted a bigger inverter. So that's where we get into this thing. This is EcoFlow. I love EcoFlow. Again, I go into detail on all these. I'll put links to those videos, but we actually bought this one because it has a really quick charge time so if you plug it into the wall to charge it if you're not using solar if you're not plugging it into the cigarette light of, lighter of your car it'll charge really quick when you plug it in our lifestyle we wanted something that'll charge really quick but let me give you the specs on this thing because it's quite a bit bigger all right friends so this is a 1800 watt output so it actually has a 3300 watt boost so say you have something like maybe a table saw or something bigger some of these equipment use a really high draw at first just to get the engine going, but then it maintains a lower. So that's why they have 3,300 watt boost, but it'll maintain that 1,800 watt output. 
So that's a lot of power. So again, you start looking at maybe the back of the tool underneath your coffee pot, looking at different hair dryers and stuff you might have, and it'll say on there what power it needs. And so as you start using those and you read that, you'll see that it doesn't always match up word for word. Again, these have all these really intuitive displays, so it'll show you basically how much power that saw or that coffee pot is using at any given time. And the Keurig, for example, uses a lot to get the, the water hot, but then it'll maintain as it's brewing a little bit lower. This is 1800 watt, and then it has 1260 watt hours. So again, that's the size of a battery. So just as a frame of reference, 1260, 595, and then 518. So you can see this guy is double what these are. And so what we wanted was long lasting power, but also, also quicker charge time. That's the trade off though. All of these machines have cycles. How many life cycles? That basically means how many times you can drain it to nothing and then recharge it again. This is like 800 and these are, these are quite a bit more. I can't remember. Again, I go into more detail on each one in a different video, uh, but because it's so hard on it to charge really fast and it can put out so much, it has lef less life cycles. And that's just something you guys are gonna have to decide if you need that. Uh, but I love this company. Of course, they have like the river. They have so many now. This is the EcoFlow Delta, and now they have the Delta 2, Delta Max, Delta Pro. I mean, it just goes on and on. They have way bigger ones that will power AC units and stuff. They have setups for your whole house. And both of these companies have bigger ones as well. So something that we've noticed over, again, we've had these about a year and a half, going on two years on all these units. Something we've noticed is that these two take quite a bit longer to actually charge. So believe it or not, this one takes longer to charge than this one. Uh, and it just, it's like an all day affair. So you plug it into the wall and you'll be charging it for maybe four to five hours. So if, if you got some time, there's nothing wrong with that. Just set it and forget it. If you need a quick charge, maybe even go with a smaller version of the EcoFlow, but they also have a USB-C on the front of them. So you can be charging from a charge port and the front USB-C. It actually charges and gives out power. It goes both ways. So that's kind of a way to speed that up. You typically, again, we just set it and forget it. So I don't bother plugging in two things, uh, but Again, without going into more details here, we'll move on to the Honda. This, friends, is a gas, and it puts out roughly 2,200 watts. So this will maintain 2,200, where this will maintain 1,800 watts. So if you have something heavy duty, you need a lot of power, this is the go. Again, they have power stations that will outperform this one. I just don't have any of them here. So quickly, some of the drawbacks is you gotta have gas. Gas sometimes gets messy, uh, it's smelly, and it's extremely loud. Now, right now we're at a campsite, so I don't need any of this. In fact, we are just plugged in and we're filling these ones up, so it doesn't matter here. But, you know, there's places where you just need unlimited power. So if we're in the shade, which we are here, I could move this panel about 50 feet that way, it would be in the sun. But in the shade, we're not getting any power coming in at all. Uh, and so you have this until it runs out and then you're done. This guy is unlimited. You just keep filling up gas and keep filling up gas. So if you have maybe some kind of emergency equipment, you're gonna still see people nowadays using gas. However, there's states, specifically California and others who are looking to ban this stuff as quick as possible. All kinds of small engines, gas engines, stuff like that. So that's something, you know, you might want to consider when you're thinking about backup power, what your state is, what kind of environment. If you're looking to be low profile or quiet, obviously you want to go with one of these guys. Uh, there's lots of different pros and cons, and all of these companies have solar panels that come with them. So you can get this guy in a package. The package deals with the panels are always better than just buying the units and the panels separately. They're always out to throw in bundles and you get this stuff at a really good price. You can hard mount them to your house, to your RV and different stuff like that. Uh, but guys, again, without going into too many more details, let's grab some of these 
tools here and let's try them out. All right, friends, so this one's actually dead for my, my experiment today. My bad, I apologize. I got a whole video on it, so I'll, I'll show you in that video what this thing will do. Uh, and this one, let's give this a go. So I'm gonna plug it in and make sure it's on. So this one, the power button's there. You got two power ports for your traditional wall outlet. Then you have two USB and a USB-C. Again, with the USB-C, uh, you can plug it in to charge it from the side. And then you can also plug in a USB-C and it'll charge it. So at any rate, there's a couple little barrel plugs and then all these guys are gonna have your traditional uh, cigarette outlet, if you will. But let's plug this thing in and give it a go. So that hits an error code, it's EOO. And so what you do is you just reset it, turn it off and back on. Now let's bump up to the EcoFlow. Uh, you push it on here. All right, so there's six different outlets in the back and I have that on in the back there. And it, ha it actually registers that those wall outlets, I I'm just using that term because it's the easiest to understand, are on or activated. So just as a frame of reference, that was like 500, 560. It was bouncing a little bit, but that's how many watts this guy uses. Now just for fun, let's grab this skill saw real quick. Make sure we don't chop the cord off. And I'm gonna plug that in. I mean, this isn't something you would use it for like heavy work, because at 560 watts, you can probably only do that for a little while. But we'll get it plugged in. And let's see this guy. So that was in like the 650, working at 700 range. So you're not going to be able to do that too long. But that's just, you know, that's something that you could do maybe like in half an hour of cutting or something like that. Uh, but again, these guys will power some of that stuff. But the thing that we really wanted this for was the Keurig. Now let me grab that. The Keurig, friends, is like 1500 watts when it powers up. So these things wouldn't have a chance. But just for fun, let's boil some water. So friends, that thing will do its little job here in a minute as it gets warmed up and this thing is going to power and that's why we wanted that uh, obviously some of this stuff you might not be doing if there's a blackout so what do we want this stuff for well it depends on your lifestyle if you're out camping goofing around you want to make sure your computer's topped off maybe make sure your phones are topped off these guys are the go i mean just to give you a frame of reference we could watch like two movies on this guy two tv like two tv shows or a movie like two tv shows or a movie basically because the it's not so much the dvd player but the tv is costly i'll call it so it'll drain that down after you know if you watched a movie you'd still have some left over but maybe you're tent camping or something and you can have this with you and you can do everything you need to do in a power outage situation you could, you know, they always say you could have the radio going or the TV to watch a little bit of the news to see what's going on. You could have your phones charged up. Look how small it is, guys. I, I just, I can't understand why people want it in this day and age have one of these for how cheap they are. Speaking of that, I'm going to get into the price in just a minute, but that's something that will get some of your basics done. Now, if you're trying to keep a refrigerator going or something, you're probably going to need something bigger like this. This will do the refrigerator for a little bit, but I'm talking a couple hours or something. So that's not maybe sustainable for any long period of time unless you have a really good solar array out back or something like that. So this is probably something you'd want if you really want to think about having your food kept good for a couple days. Now, when I was living in Portland, Oregon, of all places, we had these crazy hell storms because it was obviously people know that Portland rains a lot. So when it rained, all the trees would get covered and it would freeze. Well, when the trees froze, the big old branches came down and knocked out the power lines 
all the time. And so that was obviously a terrible situation. We had blackouts for like up to a week. So there's a lot of different scenarios on why a guy would want extra power. Uh, but just take into consideration what you might need. Let me give this a check. Sometimes I do that wrong. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's gonna do its thing while I grab my cheat sheet and talk about the prices a little bit. So again, friends, I have links to all this stuff. Well, maybe not this one, probably on Amazon, but I'll drop a link to it as well. I got different deals with some of these guys, but just to give you a frame of reference, this guy down here is $299. And, and that's kind of why I get at, like these things are getting so reasonable that you kind of wonder like, why would you not have one of those just to have some backup power? This guy here was $5.99 with the solar panel. So it's $3.99 uh, on its own. So $2.99, $3.99. Again, it has a little bit more capacity going back to how much fuel, if you will, how much electricity it can storage. Uh, but that's a really good deal. And again, I'm telling you guys this from experience, we use these daily and it's been a couple years now, working on two years that we've had all this stuff. So. This guy up here that's making me a nice cup of coffee is 99 bucks right now. So they've came out with the number two since this one. And then they just have, again, all the different arrays with solar panels. And it's really intuitive, especially if you go, if you don't want to get into too deep with solar and understanding all the different components, you get a company like this, just get a package, a bundle that they have it's all plug and play. It's really, really easy. And of course, this guy, you can get it for like 750 used up to like 1200. So it's not necessarily gonna break the bank either. Have yourself a couple extra gas cans in the garage and I think you're ready for whatever is gonna come your way. So we just got the coffee made and guys, I wanna show you this thing real quick. So friends, obviously I said you can go on it forever with the gas. Now I gotta be honest, I haven't started this in a while. So let's see how it does basically on its own. I'm gonna choke it a bit. I'm gonna turn it on. This thing's always been really dependable. So I got the eco mode off and let's give it a couple pulls. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit louder, but guys, I put it on the eco mode so it's quieter, and that's how it is when it's running. Of course, obviously, it's pretty noisy, and the fumes uh, are coming at my solar panel. So I'm gonna cut that, but I just wanna make sure and start that to show you guys. It's probably been about a month since I started that, so again, Honda, you can't beat it. I mean, there's cheap Harbor Freight options and stuff I think are up in their game. I don't have any personal experience, but what I can see, it seems like they really are up in their game. So probably something to consider if you just want to have it as a spare. Something like this, just don't forget to run it from time to time like I did there. It's not something you want to sit and forget. There's different ways to treat the gas if you're not going to use it for a while. So a little bit of upkeep and maintenance with these guys, but I don't know if I can't picture ever not having one now that I have it. So that's the Honda generator there. Again, I kind of take it back to the idea of it's your responsibility to be prepared. And some of these things will meet your different needs. I love to answer specific questions on any of this stuff in the comments below. Uh, so here's that hot coffee, but it's kind of fun. You can't live without the Keurig. I mean, it's just too good. So. Love to answer any of those questions you guys have in the comments below. I'd love to get into the nitty gritty or what you can power and what you can't. I have full videos on this stuff, uh, so make sure and check those. That's gonna answer all the questions for you. Uh, love to dive deeper, so let me know. And there it is, guys. You know, this is what we're doing over on Go On Overland. Love the heck out of you guys. Would love to answer any of these questions. I know you guys see it all the time on our Instagram posts, on our Facebook all that stuff, you know, we bring them out individually. I just thought it'd be fun to do a video where we lay it all out there and uh, guys just get into it on a deeper level. So hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. We really love you guys. Until the next video, God bless, get up and go on.